Hey, can we give a very, very big hand? We're so excited to be here. Can we give a big hand for the UK's very first Hemp and CBD Expo? Let's give it up for them. So excited to be here and part of this amazing revolution that's taking place right in front of us. We're going to direct your attention to this screen because we have a lot of information to convey to you. We're going to try to summarize, but a lot of information is going to be on that screen. Again, Robert introduced us. We're founders of Hemp Lifestyle and Hemp Lifestyle Network. We've been entrepreneurs and wellness advocates for over 30 years. And our business really focuses on the education and distribution of hemp products and hemp-based CBD products. And um, we've opened up the US, uh, also uh, UK and Europe, and we are specifically now going into Asian markets, specifically Japan. So we're bringing hemp products all over the world, which where, that's where it needs to be. So we partner with Canaway, which is the leading direct sales company and CBD company in the space. We did create a seven-figure business within the last three years as distributors for Canaway, primarily educating the world about CBD and hemp-based products. Canaway is a subsidiary of Medical Marijuana Inc., which is the first publicly traded cannabis company in the United States. So here's a brief history of hemp. And the history is a little bit different in Europe and the UK uh, as opposed to what's happened in the US. But it's interesting that the history of hemp goes back thousands and thousands of years. And 90% um, of all medicine was derived from hemp in the 1800s and early 1900s. So it begs the question, well, what happened? Well, we know what happened in the US. In 1937, the Marijuana Tax Act made it unprofitable and impossible for American farmers to grow hemp. And that's basically how they got phased out. The governments taxed farmers out of business, and that's why the hemp was removed from our food supply. Now, hemp versus marijuana. And uh, this is kind of interesting because we're focused on hemp and the CBD, uh, hemp is grown for the high concentration of CBD in hemp, and marijuana typically is grown for the high concentrations of THC. So for us, hemp is all about health, not the high. And that's really what the hemp difference for us is all about. So we know how important the whole plant is. You know, God didn't make part of the plant. He made the whole plant. And why is this so important? Well, it's, of course, it's about the cannabinoids. And there's a lot of cannabinoids, over 140 different cannabinoids found within the plant. And there's over 400 medical um, ke chemical compounds in cannabis um, that like chlorophyll, terpenes. We heard the doctor talking about terpenes and flavonoids and all the wonderful parts of the plant that synergistically work together. And cannabinoids and these cannabinoid-like compounds are not only found in cannabis, but they can be found in echinacea, flax, um, tea, kava, and hops, you know, which makes beer. But now the endogenous cannabinoid system, we've been learning about that throughout the day. This is a good description. People say, well, how can one plant do it all. Well, it's because we do have this endogenous cannabinoid system that was only discovered in the in 1980s. So the medical community today is just starting to embrace and understand that this system is the body's largest self-regulatory system. It is responsible for homeostasis or a balance between all bodily functions. So when you think about that, if something is going to provide um, and give you balance, well, now the body is going to respond. So many times we talk about, oh, you know, this is the cure for this or the cure for that. Well, listen, your body is the cure. What you put into your body is what's going to help the body respond to different situations. So we do have those CB1 and CB2 receptors throughout the brain and the central nervous system and in the um, gut or visceral area. And a deficiency in this endogenous cannabinoid system, there's now a clinical term in the United States called clinical endocannabinoid deficiency syndrome, where things like fibromyalgia and lupus, and like why, where does this come from, are now being clumped into a deficiency in this system. So this is very important. Now, we have over 500 chemical compounds, as we know, in the cannabis that act synergistically to produce a far greater effect than any one point. So that entourage effect of all the wonderful phytocannabinoids, including THC, is extremely important. 
And of course, we also know that the natural and botanical will trump synthetic all day long, right? I think we all agree to that point. And this is just great. The CB1 neurotransmitter receptor site in the brain has more receptor sites than all of the neurotransmitter sites combined. And our bodies are actually designed to accept these plant-based cannabinoids. Because before the 1930s, we fed our pigs, our cattle, our sheep, our livestock hemp. There was no such thing as genetically modified corn back then. It was hemp and grass, and therefore, when we ingested that livestock, you know, we got those phytocannabinoids. Our body's endocannabinoid system functioned properly. So there is a lot, you guys, of research, and you heard it earlier today, that's going on around the world on CBD for epilepsy, a metabolic syndrome, osteoporosis, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, cancer. It, the list goes on and on, and we're so thrilled to be leading the way in this research through our sister companies. Now, we talked about a study. Here's a study uh, that was done utilizing our um, CBD-rich hemp oil. Dr. Aguirre from Mexico did a study comparing Epidiolex, which is a pharmaceutical, compared to the natural and botanical. And if you notice, what's really important is the um, dosage. Look at 25 to 50 milligrams per body weight versus one to four milligrams. Look at the reported seizure reduction was 36%. This was for refractory epilepsy versus 67% in the natural and botanical. Then what you have quality of life improvements. Everyone always talks about, okay, side effects. You hear it on those commercials, right? With pharmaceuticals may cause this, may cause that. Well, here we go. There was no quality of life improvements in the pharmaceutical versus 83% improvement in emotion, 88% improvement in cognition, 77 improvement in sleep, 60% improvement in appetite. I mean, this is big, big news. Side effects, none. Over here, 30% experience serious adverse effects, including one death. Now, we know pharmaceuticals, how many deaths per thousand that allows a drug to be safe for consumption? I don't know about you, but certainly that is not acceptable to me, right? I mean, so when we think about side effects, and then of course, the results, hands down, natural and botanical, will trump synthetic all day long. Next slide. We have slide. one more case study. Yes, thank you. Again, and this was for Lewis Gestalt syndrome. And this is, again, Epidiolex compared to the natural and botanical. That's our brand that was used. Again, this particular brand, you know, did not contain THC. So when we think about the differences of how many milligrams of CBD was used per body weight, five to seven over here. Again, you could see the statistics. 36% reduction, 86% reduction in motor seizures. Okay, and then you see those quality of life improvements versus none over here. So again, the conclusion is the treatment with cannabidiol is a good alternative for our patient study um, with Lewis Gestalt syndrome. So again, there's these studies plus many, many others that are coming out, we know with many products around the world, but certainly with ours, uh, we're thrilled at. Now. So this is a very, very powerful statement, and I want this statement to sink in. This is from Dr. David Allen, and he said that the discovery of the endocannabinoid system is the single most important medical scientific discovery ever. Think of that statement, the power of that statement, and what that means to all of us who are here today at this expo. So the ECS discovery is saving lives. Now I'm going to play a video, and in this video is featured Dr. Stuart Titus. Dr. Stuart Titus is the CEO of our parent company, Medical Marijuana Inc., and he's also considered one of the world's foremost experts in CBD. And the question that we need to ask, based on everything we now understand, is are we starved of cannabinoids? Cannabidiol is a naturally occurring chemical compound found in plants like echinacea, flax, and of course hemp. In this form, it's referred to as a phytocannabinoid. But plants aren't the only source. Cannabinoids also exist in the human body and can even be found in breast milk. Some researchers contend they play a critical role in early childhood development. Regardless of the source, cannabinoids work in conjunction with the body's endocannabinoid system, also known as the ECS. 
The ECS is a network of cannabinoid perceptors found in the mammalian brain and abdominal organs. This system plays a key role in regulating many natural functions, including mood, sleep, and appetite. Present from even the earliest stages of fetal development, the ECS predominantly consists of endocannabinoid receptors located in both the central and peripheral nervous systems. CB1 receptors in the central nervous system combine with the brain's nerve cells to help regulate the body's biochemistry. Both endocannabinoids and phytocannabinoids bind to these receptor points to control the passage of proteins between cells. CB2 receptors in the peripheral nervous system are mostly found on white blood cells, in the tonsils, and in the spleen. Cannabinoids that bind to these sites help modulate the immune system response to disease and injury. Research has shown that cannabidiol has the potential to reduce inflammation and protect critical cells against oxidation. However, with a lack of cannabidiol in the food supply and the tendency for endogenous cannabinoids to degrade within the human body, most people are deficient in these important compounds. This absence of cannabinoids has led researchers to establish a condition known as clinical endocannabinoid deficiency syndrome. A diet rich in phytocannabinoids, such as high concentration hemp oils and hemp seeds, may offset this deficiency. The discovery of cannabinoids and the endocannabinoid system has forced the scientific community to rethink how many of our most debilitating diseases function and how to treat them. As it turns out, so many of us are deficient in this fundamental substance that plays a key role in keeping our bodies balanced and healthy. These receptors are an intrinsic part of who we are, leading us to ask, are we starved of cannabinoids? So it seems the answer to that question is a resounding yes, we are starved of cannabinoids. And uh, that was Dr. Stuart Titus that uh, asked that question. So let's get into the business of distributing quality products, because this is what Valerie and I do. We have already set up over 30,000 people in the United States and in Europe in this business of distributing quality products, which is for us a very, very big part of what we do, getting the knowledge and education out there. We're only two people, but by being able to develop a network, we're able to get so much more of this information out to the customers and the people out there. So let's talk about Canaway, a company of first. We were the very first direct selling company in the cannabis space. We're also the very first to establish a global CBD pipeline. We are also the first to establish strict quality standards and triple lab testing. We are also the very first to present CBD to the World Health Organization. Also the first international CBD brand we had actually two countries change their laws, Mexico and Brazil, to be able to import our products. Now, all this is so important and is, is according to the 507 patent. Because when I looked at uh, all this industry, I said, there's got to be proof, right? I mean, we hear so many things. But when I found out that in the United States, the 507 patent was awarded to Dr. Julius Axelrod in 2003, stating cannabinoids are useful in the treatment of a wide range of oxidated related conditions, such as age-related, inflammatory, and autoimmune diseases, and in the treatment and prevention of that's what this patent talked about, prevention of neurodegenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's, um, chronic traumatic encephalopathy, epilepsy. And so through our sister company, next slide, Andre, um, Canna Life Sciences, we are now the holder of that patent where there is a lot of um, research going on where a biopharmaceutical company developing these cannabinoid treatments for these neurological diseases. And we are the exclusive holder of that patent today. And this is so important because, as we, next slide, as we know, um, there's a lot, we are particularly focusing on HE and chronic traumatic encephalopathy. And, and CTE is concussion trauma that we know many athletes around the world suffer from as a result of playing football, soccer, hockey. 
And so it really talks about the wellness of the brain, and that's really important. So when we look at, the next slide. Um, we actually have our Canaway Sports Division. And you may recognize some names here. We've got Olympic athletes, we have NFL uh, players. Nick Lowry is a, you know, um, what do you call that? Uh, all-time all -time, kicker. All -time kicker in the NFL, and he is responsible now for bringing CBD and our line of products to the National Football League. So we're really excited about that. And these are all people like you and I that are actually advocates for CBD and cannabis um, around the world and getting people off of opiates, especially their colleagues. And a, a very important point, CBD is for everyone. Based on what I know, and I'm a hockey player, based on what I know, I would have my kids on CBD from the get-go. Playing any contact sport, everyone should be on CBD. And, and actually, within the next couple of years, it's going to be mandated. You know, as these laws change and as the medical community starts to get engaged in cannabis and CBD and the importance of prevention. See, a lot of times we're talking about treatment, although this is, I guess, a plant. You know, this is not, um, you know, it's used as medicine in other parts of the world, but we know how important the prevention of. And if your child is under age five and plays a contact sport, it's going to be mandated that your child be on a CBD supplement because it actually helps protect the brain from the adverse effects of con con concussion. So, so, so what you can see from here is that the interest in what we're doing is extensive. A lot of people are taking notice and a lot of uh, stories and articles are being written about what we're doing at Kenaway and also our parent company, MJNA. So we have uh, one other video we'd like to play for you, and it really is about our purpose. What drives us? Why are we so excited to be here today to share with you what we're doing? We're, we're really about helping people live better and also create a more sustainable world. So we'd like to share with you what our passion and our purpose is. When Medical Marijuana Inc. became the first publicly traded cannabis company, we challenged ourselves to become the world's premier phytocannabinoid provider. We innovated an online marketplace and direct sales program that cannot be matched. Our success as a company derives from our purpose to help people live better and create a more sustainable world. We sought out the most qualified farmers on the planet and developed the ideal cultivars for large scale hemp production. In doing so, we were the first to develop a cannabidiol based product line. We were also the first to standardize the concentration of cannabidiol in each of our products, simply because it had never been done before. In the beginning, there were no guidelines to ensure a product's quality, so we developed a multi-tier lab testing procedure because it was the right thing to do for our customers. In those early days, the technology to produce cannabidiol on the scale we envisioned simply did not exist. So we invented it, becoming the first company to create an integrated CBD pipeline in the process. We developed the largest, most reliable source of phytocannabinoid products for the United States and dozens of countries around the world. We have also led the way in research. We were the first to obtain a license from the National Institutes of Health to develop cannabinoids as a drug treatment for degenerative brain diseases like CTE. This research opens the door to therapies for several other neurological disorders. You can see the impact of this movement all across the globe. In Paraguay and Puerto Rico, ours were the first phytocannabinoid-based products to be licensed as medically approved treatments. In Brazil, one little girl's need for cannabidiol created the first ever government subsidies for a phytocannabinoid product. Now, our hemp oil is being prescribed in Brazil for epilepsy, Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, as well as for chronic pain and other conditions. In Mexico, the law was actually rewritten to allow the use of cannabidiol to treat a young autistic girl's seizures. To meet Mexico's strict regulation, we created the first completely THC-free hemp oil product on the market. From clean biofuels to building materials, hemp's possibilities are limitless. With it, we can change the status quo. We're proud of the things we've accomplished and the lives that we've touched. While many follow on our footsteps, we continue to forge a new path to health and wellness. Yeah, we certainly are proud of what uh, the company has been doing and uh, how we've been able to lead the way. 
So Valerie is going to talk now about the family of products that we have. Well, as you can see, we use a third-party testing laboratories. You know, that's so important to make sure that your product that you're consuming has been tested for, you know, how much CBD is actually in the product, heavy metals, any toxicity. Our products are triple lab tested, natural and organic. We grow in Northern Europe. That's where uh, we grow our crop. Um, no pesticides, chemicals, or herbicides. We have our own farms that have been using no pesticides or chemicals for over four generations, and of course, federally legal. What's so exciting is that just a couple days ago, we just received the certification seal from the U.S. Hemp Authority. You're going to be hearing more and more about these kinds of certifications. And this really ensures quality um, and safety measures that our company has been put in place, that we've been one of only a dozen companies to receive this distinction. Um, our consumers have access to certified, safe, and accurately labeled hemp products. And what I love about an event like this is that we do, and I think Callie was speaking about it and others, really ensure that products that are being put out on the market undergo strict quality testing standards and accuracy on your labels because you are ingesting a product that you need to make sure that it's safe. We've also, very excited, you'll be able to see this product at our booth. This is the first product ever to be listed in the prescriber's digital reference manual. This is the physician's desk reference manual that all MDs within the United States uh, have in their offices. And to have our product actually listed as a um, solution in that PDR is very, very exciting. And um, we're very proud of that. So Canaway in the future of hemp and CBD is very, very bright. There's over 50,000 uses and benefits of hemp. And on the left side, you'll see current, what's currently available through Canaway. We've got food, essential oils, nutritional supplements, body and skincare products, also clothing. I am wearing hemp jeans. These are made from hemp. And, and my these wife, are hemp yoga pants. And my <laughs> wife is wearing All hemp, hemp yoga pants. <laughs> so, there's so many other things that are coming. Porsche just built a car made with hemp, and it's stronger than steel. And also, there are now homes starting to be built with hempcrete that is better than concrete. So the future is very, very bright for our industry. And here's what's really cool. Hemp is the only annually renewable plant on Earth able to replace all fossil fuels. I know. Let's give him a big important? round of applause, you guys. That beautiful plant. Could you imagine a world without plastic water bottles in our landfills and in our waterways? Thank you, hempcrete, right here. This is awesome. Do you know the Santa Fe Railroad in California is actually made from hempcrete? Hempcrete is stronger than concrete, doesn't burn, antimicrobial, antifungal. It is the future. And we have some uh, hemp homes made from this material in Asheville, North Carolina. So that's Thank really you, super Robert. exciting. I love it. So, so let's talk about our foundation now, something we're also very, very proud of. So again, because there's so much education that needs to be out there, as we know, there's a lot of misinformation. People are trying to find out how they can incorporate CBD and cannabis in their life. We set up the ECHO Foundation, and that is um, echoconnection.org. You guys, that's a resource for you. It's an educational, we are a nonprofit charitable organization. We just got that distinction here in Europe, so we're very excited about that. Um, um, it's an education and resource portal for the world. And, and here's the most important thing. We can't make medical claims and we don't make medical claims. But what we can do is when people ask us, will it help with this, will it help with that, we can point them to the ECHO uh, site and they can do the research themselves because we put all the information there. So it becomes a resource that takes uh, the literally the yeah. pressure off of us so we don't have to make any claims and they can get educated on this. Yeah, and those studies are pulled from PubMed.gov, the National Institutes of Health. Um, but look at this. I mean, there's also a hope tab up there. There are a lot of families that now have financial distress over health-related issues, and they can't afford 
Like, where do I go? Hey, how do I afford these products? You know, so we set up this foundation. They click on the hope tab. You fill in the application. You share your information, submit it into the company, and then the company sends free product. So this is really important. But look at over 200,000 people. This is 2017 stats. It's more than double that now that have been educated on cannabinoids and CBD and over 180,000 in donated products. Um, all administrative costs are paid by our parent company, so all the funds raised go to the families in need. So there is a huge opportunity in hemp and CBD. It's the fastest growing industry right now in the world. Cannabis is becoming mainstream and it's about time. We are all in the right place at the right time. There's also a huge opportunity with us, with our company. Uh, we have experienced 7,000% growth since March 2016 up to, to November 2018. We are expanding rapidly. We are looking for people to help us get the word out, to continue distributing throughout Europe and the UK. And also we're starting to open up the Asian markets, these incredible products and technologies. So it's very interesting because, again, there's a lot of ways to potentially get involved in this industry, but a lot of people say, wait, I don't have the overhead, the tens of thousands of dollars to open up a dispensary or open up a shop. It costs a lot of money. But they say if you can find a company that's well-established and you're looking to um, educate and market wellness um, CBD products, if you can find a company that has a half a million distributors or less, it's considered cutting edge. But if you can join a company that has 100,000 distributors or less, it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. This is according to Harvard Business School. So that's where we're at. With less than 100,000 distributors, we've experienced over 7,000% growth, and we can teach anyone how they can have a legal cannabis business in this huge industry. So if you're passionate like Valerie and I, and you're sitting there and saying, I would love to get in this space, I would love to share this with everyone I know, then maybe it's, it's uh, the right time for you to come and talk to us, and we'll be able to explain how easy it can be for you to own your own legal cannabis business. So again, there's a lot of different ways we earn. I call this picture hemp from the heart. Every dime we make as loud and proud brand ambassadors is because somebody else is having a health benefit. That's it. A product is used, a person got a health benefit from it, and then we get to make money. And how great is it that we can impact the world? So excited. And you know, we have a stock incentive program. How would it be great to own a company or own shares in a company? Well, we've earned about 2.4 million shares of our parent company stock. They're put away for when we need them, but it's awesome to have this type of opportunity. Next slide. So um, the last video we're going to play is the video that was first played to us when we saw this company, when we were invited to take a look at this company when we joined them over three years ago, and it got us right here. And I'm hoping it will do the same for you because it's a very powerful video that really shows how much we can affect and help other people's lives by introducing them to these products. It is being called a miracle. This little girl named Ani has gone from 60 seizures a day to almost zero. Ani lives in Brazil, but new at 7 o'clock, 10 News anchor Robert Santos shows how her savior was in San Diego. In this Brazilian documentary, Katiel Fisher explains how her daughter Ani started having aggressive epileptic seizures when she was three. The family never lost hope despite the sadness. Exactly. Essa esperança. That hope led her to this Facebook page created by a Dallas mother whose little girl also suffered from debilitating seizures. It was very hard. Penny Howard became a source of strength for the Fishers because she and her husband discovered a cannabis-based product that worked wonders for their daughter. It was a big deal because now we had our kid. We had our daughter. The challenge for the Fishers was in Brazil, any product made of cannabis was illegal. Desperate, they illegally imported it. Brazilian Customs discovered a shipment and that led to a court case. The Fishers testified that product kept Ani alive, decreasing her seizures from 60 times a day to almost zero. The Brazilian government ruled it would be inhumane to keep it from little Ani. The Fishers set a present by changing the law. This is the product that families are calling a miracle cure. It's called Real Scientific Hemp Oil. And the company that makes it is right here in San Diego. The level of THC is very, very minimal. Dr. Stuart Titus runs Medical Marijuana Inc., the first to work exclusively with Brazil, which will pay them for the product. Brazil's landmark decision opens up a multi-million dollar hemp oil pipeline from San Diego. San Diego is really becoming 
a major center for the development of these wonderful CBD-based products. Robert Santos, 10 News. Dr. Titus says Brazil has agreed to pay for the hemp oil product for about a thousand patients. The Fishers and the Howards plan to meet for the first time in a few months here in Southern California. Now, now that was three years ago, and I was privileged to be at that. Um, it was an expo like this in, in California, um, which, and it was the first time there was media coverage all over because it was the first time that these two families met. Could you imagine? I know Penny Howard personally. She wrote a blog. Look at Callie and what she's done, you know, for the industry by writing her story. She wrote a blog post that a mom in Brazil whose child also had that same condition read. So here we are, Dallas, Texas. A, a mom reads about this blog post in Brazil. She insists and gets this product. It helps her baby. And in the Brazilian constitution, you know, they say if it helps, it cannot be illegal, but it must be under doctor's care. So they illegally imported it, gave the baby the formula, no more seizures, and now what used to be contraband in Brazil is now used as a medication. So that's why I like to say each and every one of us can make a huge difference by just opening your mouth and recommending that people use this beautiful product, this beautiful plant. So we'd love to talk to all of you. Um, if you have the opportunity, come and see us at the stand E93. You can see our complete product line and learn more about our business. Thank you so much for your time, and we hope you enjoyed our presentation. Thank well, you. ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Valerie uh, uh, and Andre. What a fantastic presentation that was. Thank you.